Hey YouTube, it's Miles from Nixus Core. I'm tired, I'm off work. God, I don't even know how to film. Um, I've got the fucking infinite theme song stuck in my head from Sonic Forces. And I really just want to play, like, some shitty video game, like Persona 5 or Call of Duty. But I have a responsibility to you guys, so um, here's my Thavis deck profile. Uh, I... You know, did the case split, so I got everything I needed. I sold that SP because fuck that noise. I'm not into, you know, pretty SPs. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Plus, I've got a good job now, so I could just SP this deck out. All right, so 50 seconds in. Nice. Our starter is um, Bubble Edge Draco Kid. Uh, that God, this camera angle is horrible. Um. So it its skill is uh act, um, shove into soul, and uh only if you have an Aquaforce Vanguard, which you will, because you know clan fights a thing. Um so if you have an Aquaforce Vanguard, you pick an Aquaforce unit, and until end turn it gets a red tech skill where um when it attacks a Vanguard, if it's the fourth battle of that turn or more, you get to draw. So if you combo this correctly, uh on a rear guard actually, you, you don't do your Vanguard, um you can draw uh, two cards. Um, I think there's a play where you can potentially... It, it's like you can draw three. Uh, so this is actually a very draw-heavy deck. Um, I wasn't totally aware of that until I did some studying uh, and then played it in a tournament, and I was like, holy shit, this is great. So, yeah, run this as a starter. Um, Mitros is another option. Uh, I played this deck at my locals last week, and... Um, while my deck did brick against him and I saw no grade twos, a guy was using Mitros and he made some really good plays comboing with the new grade three Thavas, which you run four of, obviously. It's a Thavas deck. It's a great card. It fixes a lot of problems for Aqua Force. The new support actually just like gave Aqua Force so much of what it needed, especially Thavas. I mean, like I, I enjoy Thavas as a deck now when initially I it was so boring. Blue Wave was significantly better. So, um, new Thavis, uh, Supreme Ruler of the Storm Thavis, is uh, on Vanguard when you stride. Um, you pick a card up to one card from your hand and call it. Then you pick one of your rear guards. You do not need to pick the card you call. You can just pick whatever you want. You don't even need to call. Um, and uh, until end of turn, the chosen unit gains resist. You know, so Aqua Force needed that. Um, and if it has the wave ability, uh, it can also attack from back row. Then it's um, other skill, which I love. It's a regard skill. It's super nice. It's um, GB2 once per turn. Uh, wave first or fourth time. After it attacks the Vanguard. No, after it attacks, you Caterblast one and restand it. So um, uh, some ruling about this, about like once per turn skills like these. So the paying the cost in the situation, um, activating the... Sorry. Be, meeting the condition to pay the cost is part of the once per turn thing. So if you attack with this, as if, if this is your first attack and you attack with it, um, that was redundant. If this is your first attack, uh, if you choose not to pay the cost and then like, you know, let's say you restand it later with like Lambros or Alexandros um, and then you attack with it for the fourth battle later, you cannot pay the cost then. It's like the same with Crayon Tiger. It's like you have to pay the cost when the conditions are met um or you can't pay it at all like any other time um there are ways around it though so you know you can it, does it say attack vanguard uh the, the, this unit oh it has to, oh wow okay never mind um so there aren't really yeah there are some ways around it anyway so four of those uh great card love it um then just because you only want to have thavas as your vanguard you run two of the og thavas uh i I'm not even going to bother reading what it does. It's like, it retires, it silent Tom with a crit. You, you, you don't need it. I mean, like, you only run six grade threes because this deck draws a lot and you don't want to draw into a ton of grade threes and, like, you already run four stride fodder. It's consistent enough. Um, and you don't want to run four Thavas, four of this Thavas, because it's bad and doesn't do anything on rear guard. So, a new grade two, um, Battle Siren Sipla. Uh, God, I hope it's okay I hold cards like this. Probably not. Richard's gonna get mad at me. 
Um, so what she does is, if you have a... So Continuous, if you have a Thavis Vanguard, she gains 2k and resist, which is amazing. Um, so, oh yeah, so like... Everything in this deck inherently has in either inherently or through a skill gains resist, like through its own skill it gains resist. And if it does not have resist, it will gain resist from Thavis. It's fantastic. Uh, so its other skill, her skill, th this is this is like probably one of I would consider her like one of the MVPs of the deck. Um, Counterboss one during the wave second, between the wave second and fourth time. Uh, she gain you draw one if you have a Thavis Vanguard you draw one and she gains 3k and that's not once per turn so you can just keep drawing off of her she's fantastic with some plays that you can make um then 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 the the, the, the waifu um gotta hate myself for saying that uh battle siren adelaide not not the good adelaide from spike brothers unfortunately um god i would love it if it was this, just the same exact art but with the skill bush road please reprint um so her skill is, you know, on call if you have a Thavis Vanguard, GB1, uh, Counterboss 1, Soul Bus 1, she gains 2k, and then the red text once per turn, where um, after she attacks a Vanguard, you have to restand her. Uh, you have to restand her, it is not optional. Um, however, you can get around it by attacking the rear guard. There are some combos with Bubble Edge that will only work if you attack re rear guards with her. Uh, she, I, 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 you could run her at 4 of, but I think it's a little too costy, even though this deck has a great counter charge engine. Um, but I also do four title assault. Uh, everyone knows what this card does. Um, I hope. <laughs> uh, this is just like the free restander. Um, the 5k doesn't hurt late game, thanks to Alexandris being so good. Uh, but, um, I kind of use it because, like, it, I use it for, like, the early game rush sometimes, um, or just, you know, to help hit more waves uh and more draw power actually speaking of draw power there's this sh shitty i hate her art it's disgusting um saber flow sailor uh so her skill is gb1 um after the fourth battle that after that she attacks if it's the fourth battle um you kill herself she kills herself and then uh you draw two cards um so it's kind of just to help with draw power she's an 8k and i hate her her art's disgusting. Her skill is, like, good, but there are so many situations I hit in, in my locals where I was like, oh, fuck, this is not the grade two that I want to see. Um, and her draws sometimes don't help you at all, but, like, you know, that's all based on luck, so can't get too mad. Um, so now we have Melania, uh, ba Battle Star Melania. So uh, this came out in, like, GB... This came out in the Clan Booster, yeah. Um, so it's kind of an old card. Old card. Uh, her skill is um, GB1, wave third time or more. Uh, when she attacks, you counterblast one. She gains, if you have a uh, Thavas grade three or greater Vanguard, uh, she gains 5k and you draw. So it's basically, and she inherently has a resist. Um, so she's basically a grade one version of Sipla. And again, you, the, the, like, there's so much countercharging in this deck that, like, continuously using these counterblast skills to draw doesn't hurt you. Uh, like in in tournament the other day my locals the other day um i went from like having like three cards in hand or something and then using melania sipla and uh alexandros i was able to draw back up to um seven no i i drew seven cards in that turn and like my hand was really shitty it was like two crits or something like that and then at the end of the turn i had like a stride fodder a grade three another grade two two pgs and then, like, two heal triggers. So I was like, oh, cool. I have, like, my ideal hand. And it's all thanks to Sipla and uh, Melania for their draw skills. Um, also, the resist is really nice. Speaking of grade ones with resist, we've got um, Orthea. Have fun buying this card. Um, she is $7 a piece now. She skyrocketed. Um, and that's for a fair reason. Her skill is amazing. It's once per turn, uh, GB1, after she boosts a rear guard, doesn't matter the battle, or the wave, or whatever, uh, you counterblast one and sublust one, you restand the boosted unit, but it gains minus 5k. And it's like, oh no, uh, that's pretty shitty. Um, and then it's like, no, it's not. Not now, the, not now, ugh, I can't speak. Not now that you have Alexandros, which powers up rear guards like 
it's like feeding them fucking steroids. It's incredible. Um, I would definitely go three of her. Like, hands down. She's gorgeous. Not the art. Um, it's fucking Hestia from Don Machi. Um, then there's, uh, and I don't like lollies. Then there's Kelpie Rider Nikki, the stride fodder, obviously. Um, for Plato, the deck counter blasts a lot. Like, a lot. Um, like burning through four to five counter blasts in one turn a lot. Uh, so running, you know, a PG that counter charges is important. Also, his art is, like, super rad. Um, oh, this went by faster than I thought, actually. Uh, I'm already on grade zero. It's cool. So we got four Petros. This is the, you know, um, Doki Doki fucking heart thump worker crit, clone crit, you know, just shove into soul, 5k draw. Um, actually run eight crit in this deck. You, you you don't need to do the usual six crit, six draw because the deck draws so much off of skills. Uh, so I run four Supersonic Sailor to help with the counter charge engine. Um, and we got this new lovely heal trigger uh, that all clans are getting. Um, Blue Wave Engineer Refit Sailor. So her skill is when she is discarded as the cost for G-guarding, uh, you bind her and another heal in your drop zone, and you get to either counter charge one or soul charge one. So this deck uses both soul and counter blasts. So you can like, you know, play around with her where you can just utilize her to like, just get your resources back. It's, I, I love her. She's fantastic. She's just so good. Way better than the fighter selection heals. Um, and then we run four draws, uh, make sure it's like Malika or, you know, just, I think Malika's the only one. No, 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 there's that other blue wave one. They, they both do the same skill. They're the Margul clones. Uh, you shove into soul, give you unit 3k. You just want to have soul. Um, all right. So G units, let me move this shit pile out of here. Um, got Thava sleeves cool, which are pretty neat. <sighs> Buy this mat at, um inked gaming uh so we got the new zr um which is pretty shitty uh Zeroth dragon of distant c megido i i just like it because it's a shin megami tensei reference um its skill is you counter blast two when it's placed on vanguard circle you pay the cost and um what does this do i've never read it before uh i'll try reading through the camera um, counter blast when you place on Vanguard, we pay the cost. If you do, choose up to five cards in total from your hand or drop zone. Call them to separate rear guard. Oh, nice misprint, Bushy. Separate rear guards, and until end of turn, they get 5k each. And red tech skill, uh, at the end of the battle this unit attacked, choose one of your other rear guards and you exchange positions with the unit. This works best with Aqua Force, actually. So, um, and I run it because, like, the G zone is super lenient. Uh, and I'm in certain situations where it's like, I know I'm not going to use this card, so I can use it for G-Assist fodder or um, uh, Flip fodder for Alexandros. Uh, I have not been in a situation where I need to use it or where I should use it because it's an ultimate stride and it's not Dust or any of the others that came out after um, GBT-13. Um, yeah, Drachma's terrible too. Uh, just putting that out there because some people apparently don't understand that. Running one of the, um, what's his name? Uh, Blue Swirl, Martial Dragon, Last Twister Dragon. This is the GB8. Again, um, I don't really go into this card, but I can run it because the G-Zone is super lenient. Um, it's also pretty good, actually, uh, considering the, effect, the fact that I run, like, you know, quite a bit of wave units. So, ugh, excuse me. Um, its skill is Act once per turn, GB8. Uh, counter blast one, and this unit gains like a red tech, a lot of red tech skill. Um, wave second to fourth time. When your rear attacks, uh, within that, you know, those waves, um, it gets 5k, and until end of that battle, uh, until end of the battle, and at the end of that battle, you check the top four cards of your deck, and you call one of them to the rear guard that that unit attack, uh, that the, the, that unit attacked on. Um, and if it has the wave ability, uh, it gets 5k as well and shuffle your deck. So it's like you can, you know, combo it into calling a unit with the wave ability like Sipla and um, she'll gain the 2k from having a Thavis Vanguard. 
Uh, so that's already 11k, and then, like, she'll gain the 5k when she attacks off of this unit's skill, but because she also has wave, she'll gain the other 5k, so that's, like, a 21k attack already, and, um, you can still do that one more time. Uh, so you can potentially get, like, two, like, 19 to 21k attacks off, um, uh, just because, like, they have the wave. So it helps with multi-attacking, um, helps for, like, maybe, you know, a final push, also, if you don't have a lot of hand, uh, I think it's a pretty solid card. Um, it's best with wave, uh, but it can it's pretty easy to use in other decks, too. Um, so there's that. Uh, then we got um, Storm of Lament, Wailing Thavis. Uh, this was in my previous deck, my blue wave deck. Um, so it's GB3 when it attacks for each battle that a rearguard attacked during that turn. Uh, your opponent chooses one of his or rearguards and retires it, so it, you know, potential board wipe. Actually, not, it's, it's like a piss-easy board wipe. And then its other skill, which is better, is GB2, uh, wave third time or more, you counterblast one when it attacks, and, um, it gains 5k for each battle that a rearguard attacked during the turn, and your opponent cannot call grade one cards to Guardian Circle. So they can use grade twos, they can use threes for whatever reason, uh, Dimension Police players. They can use, um, yeah, they just can't PG, basically, or Quintet Wall, if the the kids still use that these days. Uh, then there's the real MVP. Um, uh, God, I hope Richard edits in some, like, heroic music or something. Uh, Marshal General of Surging Seas Alexandros. So, its skill is... This is the new GR from GBT-13. So, its skill is uh, Counter Plus 1 uh, on wave second or third time, and then you choose a face down card from your G zone and you flip it face up. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, you know, on the wave second or third time shit, um, you can pay the cost. If you do, you pick two of your rear guards and re stand them, and they get 5k until end of the end of turn for each face up card in your G zone. So, notice you can use this as your first stride, and in fact, the ideal play with this deck is to use it as your first stride. That's how you draw all these cards. Uh, like, it's how you just start generating a plus. Um, maybe I could make, like, a separate video explaining some combos. Uh, it's not original, really. It's, like, uh, most Davos players know those combos now. Um, or you could just see it in a fight video eventually. But, uh, I don't know. You're, you're all gonna find them out eventually. Uh, it, you mainly combo with Sipla and, um, Adelaide. But, uh, late game, you combo this with Orthia and, um, either... Tidal Assault, or, uh, what do you call him? Um, the new Thavas, to swing, like, to hit, like, three extra attacks. Three attacks that are all, like, you know, over, like, 30, 31k or something. Um, so, I really wanted to, like, you know, bring you this deck profile a bit sooner, because I've been kind of lagging on this. Uh, it took me a while to, like, pick up a tripod, um, so I can start doing filming for myself. Uh, I want to moon. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Um, but, uh, I, so I decided to, you know, like, film this immediately, or just as soon as I could. Um, so I didn't have time to, I didn't want to, like, wait in the, wait for the mail to come, but, um, you want to run three of this card, just because of those, like, late game plays, because you for sure want to use one early game if you have, like, even one grade two and one grade one in your hand, and then you run the other one for, like, you know, mid-late game, and then you run the other one just in case... Uh, and again, the G zone's super lenient. You can really be free with it. Um, I would not recommend four though. Like that's unnecessary. You've you've probably killed them. I've killed them by the second one. Uh, yeah. Um, and then I run two Lambros. This is really just to help. Like, it's a costless Alexandros. It only gives 10k though, and it has to be the fourth wave or more. But um. It's still kind of helpful. I've, I've st I still win games with it. You know, the, the good old days. It's even the GBTO2 one to um, uh, really, you know, bring back the trauma in my friends. Um, but, uh, you know, y'all know what it does. It's Alexandros, but with fourth wave, and it gives exactly 10k, no more, no less. Um, you can use it first stride, too, except why would you when you have Alexandros? Uh, it's just a free... It's free. Um, and it helps to accelerate to a GB8. And also to pump up Alexandros. So you run two. Then what I want to change is um, four Commander Thavos. Uh, this, I thought I was going to go into this a lot more because I did in my old Thavos deck and even my Blue Wave deck. But you 
really only want to run two. And what you do is you make this one another Alexandros, and then you make the other one a fifth G guard, and you have that as dismal uh, to counter control. So don't run four like me. Again, I'm waiting on the mail for Alexandros. Well, actually, I'm waiting on my paycheck to afford Alexandros. Um, so just run two and then do three Alexandros. Uh, for now, I have four, you know, just to give you the video. Uh, then you run one Seabreeze because you're good at the game. Then we got G guards. So you run one um, guard leader of sky and water, Ioannis. Uh, this is the fighter selection one. I have yet to use her, but I have seen times where it's like, oh, I could go into her. I just usually PG instead. Um, but her skill, is, this is good against control, I'd say. Um, GB1, counter plus one, choose a face on card. G, G guardian from your choose an internet face up. It's like all those other, you know, G guardian flip cards. Um, when you guard with her, you may pay the cost. If you do, why is it doing that? God, I hate this camera. Um, you know, it's like kind of like blurry at the bottom. When you do, uh, all of your rear guards gain, pick five of your rear guards and they gain resist. So all of them gain resist and they cannot be hit. Uh, it's a counter to brawlers. Um, and then this unit gains 5k for each chosen unit, 5k shield. Uh, so it's, it's pretty good, you know, just, just in case it's like a massive number swinging at you and you're like, oh no, what do I do? You have this card. Um, there was a situation where like, it would have been perfect for me in tournament. A guy was swinging at me with Wailing Thavis and I was like, awesome, I'm fucked. Uh, and if I had a G Guardian, I could have gone into her and I would have been fine and I would have won next turn and I would not have gone fucking sixth place in that tournament. Um, there was a $50 cash prize. Uh, wave first time or second? Oh yeah. So this is Blue Storm, Deterrence Dragon, Ice Barrier Dragon, um, Detergent Dragon, I'm going to call it. Uh, wave first or fourth time when you gu or more when you guard with it, it gains 10k shield. It's not that great. It's just like, there have been situations where I'm like, oh, this is useful. Um, you know, if your opponent's running like Aqua Force, Gear Card, just any multi-attacking deck, uh, this card's helpful. Just run one of, you know, it's fine. Then here's the best G guard Aqua Force has ever gotten. <laughs> Blue Wave Armor General Galphelia. I love her so her guard skill is when she when you guard with her for the second or third wave um she gains 5k shield whatever uh you know it's your average uluru clone or any of those others that gain 5k her other skill though is when she's face up in the g zone you soul blast one and you flip her back face down so you can use her with this card, basically, as long as you have heals in your hand... That doesn't matter, actually. The deck doesn't recycle. Uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. Um, but basically, like, you can just keep using her. She also has, like... She's she's cute. And she's got, like, that outfit that Satsuki has in Kill a Kill. And she, she was a cool, a cool character. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna stop being a weeb. Um... So you flip her face down and soul blast one. That's again that this deck kind of needs the soul for her and Adelaide. Uh, you choose one card on your circle or in your damage zone and turn it face up. So basically, you can counter charge and you can unlock. So this card helps against control and helps your resource management. So it's like, oh, I'll G guard with her. Cool. Next turn, uh, like soul blast, flip her face down. Then I got this damage over here. I'm like, whoop. She's great. She's amazing. I, she's so good. I'm not going to run three of her because you don't need to because she's recyclable. You just run two. And also, here's the best part. You, you can use her as flip fodder for Alexandros. You're like, all right, um, right, I'll flip. I'll attack with Alexandros. I'll flip a unit so you know I can ensure that extra 5k. And then um, next turn, it's just like, oh, pay the cost, flip her back. All right, cool. So, yeah, and then again, you would run one dismal. Um, I have the dismal. I just didn't want to show you like three commander thavos because then it would look dumb um so this is the deck uh if you guys have any recommendations or ideas i am willing to listen um it would actually be helpful because when i first used this deck when i first built it like two weeks ago i used it at my locals and i did horrible i like did not know how to use it and like gabe was like dude you suck and i was like i know i gotta get better um because i really don't like practice enough and like you know pay attention to my plays i get really lazy and stupid um 
and I've also been like super tired in a lot of fights. Uh, but um, I also just run decks that hold my hand all the time because um, that's how you play meta. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, when I learned about the combos that the deck can, that this deck can make, I was like, holy shit! I love this more than Blue Wave. Like, like fuck Valios. This is better. It, it really is. Um, Valios is great, but in the meta, with the meta, like, just being Overlord and Chaos, you know, control decks, and with Gridora coming out soon, it's like, I want to, you know, be able to counter control more. Uh, so yeah, um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit that, uh, notification button so you know when we post our videos. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and shit like that, or Instagram too, because we have that for some reason. Um, and donate to our Patreon. Uh, this is Miles from Rex's Core, signing out. <laughs>